Uh, yeah, so we're, we're going to try something that we've never done before. <laughs> Let's see how this comes out. <laughs> and our mini interview. Hazel sat here. Um, last week she was away doing a RYA competent crew. Um, she flew over to England, went to the Handball, which is basically Southampton. Joined a sailing school there and, and went off to do a competent crew. So, so a few words about those. Yeah, well, the competent crew isn't... I think it's just like an introduction into big boat sailing, I'll yeah. call it. Um, so you don't really do that much, I guess. Although I did get to do a lot, though. Um, we were on the boat with a crew of uh, five, plus the instructor, and the other four people there were all doing their their day skipper mm -hmm. license. So I was the only crew there. But we all worked as a team, I guess. Uh, yeah. So we did a lot of... So you went, you went out pontoons. sailing for, for Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we set off on... We met in the evening mm -hmm. on the first day and then set off on the next morning. So we always sailed during the day mm -hmm. and uh, were somewhere in a marina at night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you did a night sail as well, didn't you? Yeah. Well, an evening sail, of, I guess, in night hours. It was dark it was already, dark. so yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. And you, as, as the, as the Compton crew person there, what did you have to do exactly? Uh, well, I, lots of things. Things that the most, mostly the other people had to do as well. So trim the sails. Um, I was at the helm a couple of times as well, so that was quite cool. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, we tacked a lot or jived a couple of times as well. So we practiced that a lot. Mm. So you're handling the sheets or, yeah. or on yeah. the helm for those manoeuvres? Um for tacking and yeah i was at yeah. as well a couple yeah. of times yeah. not always obviously and you did some anchoring is that right yeah yeah that's right as well yeah <laughs> good and um, mooring you went into marinas yeah and, yeah so. moored on pontoons so usually or well, not usually actually so i would either do the fenders or i'd go over with the spring mm -hmm. um yeah different yeah. stuff always yeah yeah and you think it was a good introduction to, to bigger boat boating <laughs> yes i think it was yeah. Because it's right to say that your previous experience was, was optimistic. Yeah, basically. exactly. Just yeah. dingy sailing, yeah. really. Yeah. yeah, good. And what are you going to do next? Well, I plan to do my day skipper license next. Yeah, it's the next step. Yeah. Cool. Get some more experience, obviously, as well. Get out. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's a, it's a sandy, dusty day today. Um, basically, I'm planing up and fairing anything that needs planing up and fairing, really. So I've been around these shear clamp pieces, planed up both sides of the fore deck. Um, this has been tidied up, and, and around here, this has had the final fair. I've sanded up the top and the bottom of these stringers so that they're tidy. Um, back at the aft deck here, you can see I've planed up the shear clamp there. The other side's still waiting to be planed, but it's, all the wood is on now, so, so it's all laminated up and in position, just needs a plane up. So I'm just working on the just about to start working on the starboard side. The port side's all planed up, and I say sanded up and tidy. About to go over on the starboard side and do the same. I've done the fore deck already. So that's where we are there. Um, yeah, and then we see here on the fore deck that it's all pretty much fared up. What you see is that these deck beams need just a little bit building up on them because I've built them square, and of course with the with the run of the fore deck they need need to have a bit of an angle on them so i need to laminate an extra small piece on there it's not a centimeter on each one less laminate that on there you know, a quarter of an inch or so i suppose um, and then just plane it to that angle so that that's all running true if you i've laid the straight edge across there it runs across there pretty good so that's nice 
Um, and then I'm going to get in there and I'm going to put the four bunk in at least that. I'm going to do a bit of prep on the hull sides on the inside. Four bunk in before I get that four deck on. Um, but that's what we're working on now. So the, the four peak and the four deck. And that's where we're going. One thing that happened, one big piece of excitement, is that I splashed the cash and bought myself a spear injection, spear injection tenon saw, 12 inch tenon saw, brass backed. It's very, very nice, very nice indeed. So let me hold it that way around so you can see it. They are not paying me. It's a nice saw, not very expensive either. I think it's 28 euro, I think. Not too bad at all. They do the 12 inch and they do a, a 10 inch version as well with a, with a hardwood handle. I dare say they're both worth having. And yeah, I've got that, I've been using it. It cuts beautifully, nice. Good, we cut there, won't we? Thank you. 